Okay, so what? <laughs> I, we're laughing. Why are we That's, laughing? Okay, there's a couple so, of things, views and ideas being thrown around about that MLK statue, right? So we're on one hand with the hands looking all beautiful together. It looks lovely. On the other hand, it looks like she's holding a giant penis, right? And so everybody says, oh, the sketching should have been done and this should have been done. And I'm just going to throw my gaunt into the gauntlet right there. And I'm saying if this was done with a chunk of clay or with uh, um, clay gray or white or on a sketch, it's just going to look different than when you when you make it all nice and flesh tone brown and glossy <laughs> and shiny. <laughs> it's going to make a huge difference in the perception of what this is. Yeah, it's gonna be, you know, yeah. then walking around the corner and being like, hey, they busy taking a picture on this side. Let's take a picture on that side. And then you look at your picture, you're like, damn, it looks like a huge penis. <sighs> well, go ahead and say what you want to say, Jonathan. Well, um, I mean, with the whole concept of the, the, the suit and the, the cuffs and everything, and then it looked like it's like, there's a massive, uh, penis behind it. So, and, I mean, I, I see it's, you know, it's democratic state and what is coming out a lot right now. It's about the whole pedos and everything like that. So I'm like, eh, are they trying to, you know, incorporate, uh, put him in that bracket? Ooh, no. losers, right. And it's, you know, we know, but it's the, <laughs> The MK, right? It's that ultra to pull that into that whole concept, right? So uh, it's just another form of. So since we're already making the video, I'm going to go ahead and share screen and show it. Because this will be the angle that we're talking about is the penis side. Because that does look strange. Yeah. But there's even more sides of this. Right. That look, I couldn't figure out what was going on right yeah, here. I was talking about the other side, yeah. I didn't know but what was going on right there. That That's her holding the penis. <laughs> right? Yeah. But even this side is a, a nice, the hand, it's a beautiful hand, nice neck, nice per, um, bracelet. <laughs> Um, let's see, I'm going to find some other ones because, uh, uh, goodness, post that I've seen. Let's go there. Ah, I'll just go to my own page then. There's some other sides to this that are, okay, so then there's that side. And I'm like, wow, that's nice. I actually like am in love with this part <laughs> because it does have his the like the detail and the cuff links and the nice, very manicured hands. And then you move back from that. Oh, I like that one. Uh, you like that one. You move back from that. You take it into a whole nother concept. It's yeah, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. I only put the one. I'm mad I got the M1, the MLK statue. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I just put stature. I keep wanting to put stature. All right. So there's certain parts of this where it looks like somebody's got their head shoved down like this. It looks like someone's head's between an arm or a leg. It goes, you could go so many ways. And uh, yeah, that's a weird look. That, that's still the penis look right there because it's like you're catching that thing on the side and it's like, where is the elbow? But I get it. Of course, there's no elbow because it's a jacket. So uh, it's, it's really tough. Right. But see, if there was an elbow, you would have like all this extra, you know what I mean? To point out that this is an elbow maybe. And mm. I'm trying. But this looks like a head shoved down. Some, I was like, is it a head? Like what? The crap, and I'm not, you know, I can be critical, but uh, I was trying not to be. Yeah, it is what it is. That's a bring it on right there, like bring it. <laughs> it's that $10 million piece of 
whatever. It's not like you don't have to like every piece of art or anything like that. It doesn't mean we have to vibe with it, right? Right. So there no was a, well, even a family member got to, um, came forward and was on Tucker Carlson and he didn't care for it. Them, they seem to, this group right here, Megan Kelly, she seemed to just straight go for, hey, this is a giant penis. And they didn't have anything positive to say. But of course, with you being a white woman, black people are going to be like, okay, you always got something negative to say. You know what I mean? So it's going to be hard for anybody else to be able to say something, but I don't know. M my thing too, I, I kind of get like this. When are we going to stop making it like Martin Luther King was the only black person that ever did something? Because I'm kind of tired of Martin Luther King talk and um, Rosa Parks talk because I think we need healing beyond that point. That I'm tired of seeing slave movies. I'm tired of hearing about this in the education system because, you know, black people were pharaohs and kings and queens and inventors. And even, you know, having them African or I don't know what you want to call it, people of color as kings and queens in Europe, in Germany, in Spain. Not ever hearing about any of that, but only hearing about slavery, Martin Luther King, I'm tired of Kunta Kente, I'm, t I'm just tired of 12 years of slave. I don't want to see anything about the Black Wall Street because I don't like the idea of teaching all the children that this is what Black people are and were. It's like pigeonholing, right? It's a pigeonhole, it's typecasting, it's... Just so everything we can do to you keep have. you in the mindset of you are downtrodden. And it's like, no, I'm actually pretty fucking awesome. And I don't need to be reminded of this negative part of history because I guess people aren't really talking about Irish slaves because the first slaves were Irish slaves, right? But they were like, uh, no, you tried the Indians. No, you tried these different groups of people. They couldn't tolerate the sun. So then, you know, we're not even being accurate when it comes to history it is, is really distorted the idea that only black people were slaves because you got people in certain countries right now that are still slaves and so it's like black people can own the the pain of slavery but their slavery has been going on all over this planet and there's still slaves right now my my ancestors came from eastern europe because they were Oh, maybe they weren't considered slaves in the same sense, but they they worked for they were serfs, they worked for a landlord, and they got nothing, and they were beholding to that to that uh, landlord. So it's been throughout our history everywhere. You saw it in China. You saw it. Everywhere. China. There's yeah. Vietnamese people right now just coming out saying, "Hey, I just ran away two years ago. I was in a camp." It was all the night, you know, all the sports brand. So we're not nice talking brand. about it. And maybe that's it. Maybe we get to use slavery in America as a scapegoat to just keep the eyes focused on that and not actually focus on the fact that there's slavery going on on this planet right now. And we call it a certain word. There's sex slaves. And then there's other kinds of slaves right now so you know it's not this one group of people that have been slaves and it wasn't just one group of people that owned those slaves because as they went up and through brazil and all these places certain people who have their own group and if you say anything about them they'll say you're anti-semitic right mm. to mention that they own slaves and they helped because they were the ones you know owning the ships and doing a lot of the movement and that black people own slaves and different kinds of people own slaves and no one was innocent because somebody had to sell you. Exactly. So somebody sold you and somebody bought you and somebody had to transport you. And it was a mixture of all these people on the planet. It's not this clear cut thing. So. Yeah, it's not like some went in and say, and just, yeah. 
Yeah, there's, there's yeah. a lot. It was a collaborative it's a effort. Whole, it's a whole economy, and it's still it's the, the phantom. Oh. It the mysterious the they? Is it the mysterious they? It's the mysterious, yeah. yeah. But you get your birth certificate, right? You're, you're a corporation. You're owned by who? When you're birth, when you're born. I don't right? know. Is there a P on my when your when your name's all capitals when you when you're when you're in when your name is capitaled and your last name is in the beginning the p on there is you for are a corporation and you are owned by united states we are owned by canada and p on your passport it stands for poor <laughs> <laughs> property of the united states government or whichever one and so that's why you got to get visas because they're like wait a minute are you borrowing my slaves today right exactly yeah. They want to know where everybody is, right? Where I know. It's amazing. How it's long amazing. are you going? I don't know. You can go that. No, What's you the purpose of your visit? You need yeah. to touch down here and then you can go back. You know what annoys me is the questions they ask. What was the purpose of your visit? I don't know. I've been on a plane for 48 hours. It almost fell apart. And we had, you know what I'm saying? I got trapped in Paris. So I don't know. I don't remember the purpose of my visit anymore. You know, I'm, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I just want to go home. Can you move? You know, I don't, I don't know why you're asking me these stupid questions. Like, I don't know. I don't even understand the airport questions. Mm. So anyway, we just wanted to throw our two cents in. I said, since we're talking about it, let's go ahead and talk about it. I don't know, Terry, did you have anything else to add about the black penis that you saw? No. We were thinking about building it next to a, put, putting up a Krispy Kreme. When I saw the picture, I didn't even know what it was about. But as soon as I saw that, it was like, what the heck is that? Because you, know, like you got penis like, on your brain. Some people just thinking about dick a lot, you know? <laughs> But it, it wasn't, I, I I mean, I just saw the picture posted and I'm like, what is that? Some people think about penis a lot. That's what it is. I went to location, state, intent, <laughs> and, and what is happening in the world right now. It pulls in like focus to this, right? I'm going to tell you that, yeah, besides the fact that it's a distraction, but it just makes me think, you know, because we always tell sex jokes or because our mind is always on it, I think, see, this is, it's I always say, this is why, this is why humans get abducted all the time. It's the program. It's, it's all program, sexual programming that we have, because in our minds, we're always thinking about it. Yeah. Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> You remember Adidas? Okay. Adidas. All day I dream of sex. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what it said. Oh, oh I'm thinking you See, were once you break the mold shoes, of okay. the body and you tap into the, the soul, then you, you don't have that. You release that. You re right? I don't it think we're releasing that anytime soon, though, because I plan on being here for a while. It is. Well, no, you're, you're deeper layer. It's yeah. not superficial. Right? Yeah. Not about that. Anyway. I try not to see penises it's, everywhere. I try not it's, to. It's a program of deprogramming yourself, right? Mm hmm And we do that through intent and breath, creation <laughs> and release, right? Decreation, deprogram. And just however everybody's different and how long it's going to take and when you go into those spirals of those, uh, those awareness or that thought is about gra grasping the, the reins on it and computing it and for letting it go and each time the short the time will get shorter when you when you catch on and you can release and you release and you grasp and you release like oh okay yeah now it's just like it's like a little a little little paper or a leaf in the wind, you know? You're like, oh, look at that girl. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see the program. I see it. It has a feel. Right. So that's our two cents. Yes, that's our two cents. We're, we're, we're keeping it short. That's our two cents. Short. Short. Wah, wah. Yeah. Bye. I like that.